Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetech4teachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can privately share recordings in SoundCloud. So let's go ahead and get started here, and we'll just make a quick sample recording by clicking on the Upload button. And you can either upload a file that you have stored on your computer or select Start New Recording. Let's do a quick recording here. And now I'm recording, and as you can see, there's a little voice meter that lets you know how much you've said, how long you've been speaking for, and the fluctuations in your voice. Great. So, happy with that recording. Let's go ahead and upload it now. By default, it's just going to call it audio recording on Monday morning or Tuesday evening or whenever. Uh, you can also just go in and rename it. I'll just call it sample recording. Number 10. If you want to upload an image to go along with it, you can. Uh, not critical. You can fill out a description if you need to. We'll just call it a recording. Just call this one in our genre education. Call it a sample. We can apply different license to it if we want to. Now, let's make this track private instead of public. And that's going to automatically disable our downloads. You can enable downloads if you're sharing this privately with someone who you want to be able to download it. You can certainly do that. Now let's save it. So there's my recording. You'll see this track is private. Now if we hit the share button, it's going to give you a private link. So there's that link. I'll just copy that. And for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to open this. I'm going to open a new incognito window. And I'll put that in the new incognito window, which allows me to see the screen as if I was not signed in. And now I'm recording. And as you can see, there's a little voice meter that lets you know. And so that's how people can see your private track. You simply have to give them the private link. Now if you go back into your SoundCloud account, let's say you're, you're sharing this at a later time, so I hit my home button. There's my sample recording. You see it's marked as private. Again we can find the share button. And there it is. And if you want to direct people to a certain part of the recording, you could say start at five seconds in. There's the link. And you notice you can also reset the secret link at any time. So let's say you shared it to a group of students and you have a new batch of students coming in and you want to give them a different link, you can say reset and generate a new link. So that's how you can privately share recordings on SoundCloud. And for more tips and tricks like this, check out freetechforteachers.com.